Hello, Madam Mayor. Um, you are on the short list for VP for Vice President Biden's ticket. Um, just between us ladies here at The View, I think it's evident you're a very strong and qualified candidate. Um, we were talking earlier on the show how 50% of Americans are depressed and not feeling optimistic about the future. I know one thing I'm looking for in this upcoming election are people that can unite the country and start healing and bring us together. If you are chosen as uh, the vice presidential pick, what do you think you can do to help unite the country? Thing, Megan, what's most important during this election is that we have a restoration of moral leadership in our in our nation's capital, um, because it impacts everything. It, it impacts how we view our country, how we view the future for our children. And I trust that Vice President Biden is going to make the choice of the person who's going to be able to best help him lead our country. But there's a lot of healing that has to happen in our country, and I think it's going to be important um, whomever that person is who, who may be able to govern alongside Vice President Biden, that they be able to bring some integrity and, and compassion and, and empathy um, for our communities who are hurting in so many ways. We have a country who's grieving right now, and I think that it's going to be important to have leadership that's sensitive to that. Is that is that a job you you are thinking about maybe doing because you you are the mayor of Atlanta that's that's kind of a huge deal and you you got a lot of work that has to get done do you think we can make real meaningful change right now you know Whoopi I'm I'm leading our city right now the best that I know how we don't have a handbook for what we're dealing with right now especially without having national leadership to give us some leadership and, and, and meaningful assistance. And so uh, between COVID and, and what's happening, the movement that's happening across our cities and across our country, I can tell you, I'm thinking about it a lot less, um, but I, I just, I want Vice President Biden to win, point blank. I want him to win. Mayor, well, Mayor, before we go, I want to quickly ask you uh, about the coronavirus. Georgia was one of the first states to reopen, and you were very outspoken about Governor Kemp's plans. It seems that Georgia's numbers are flat, but a few weeks ago, your state had to apologize for a processing error that showed an incorrect downward trend in daily new infections. Are you confident that the state has a real sense of what is going on in terms of the coronavirus numbers? Well, you know, Sonny, we've seen that there have been some errors with those numbers, but I can tell you I get a report um, each day from my team, and what I'm showing is that we are having a, a slow tick upwards in those numbers. We're not as high as where we were, say, even a month or so ago, but I do see that we're back on an upward trend, and that concerns me between what we're seeing after Memorial Day and the mass gathering. So I think that we all have to be vigilant and, and continue to know that this virus is very real. And in Atlanta particularly, we've talked a lot about its impact on African American communities. We're now seeing a significant uptick in our Hispanic communities. And so it's still impacting black and brown people at a disproportionate number. I mean, that's something that we all have to be vigilant about. Mayor, Bottoms, you are all that. Thank you so much for being with us today.